The third and final movement in our dead bug series is the straight leg stick dead bug. So this can be the most challenging because the legs, instead of being straight out or at 90 degrees, we're gonna be straight up in the air. So it's gonna make things a little bit more challenging because now our levers are even longer, even harder to control that core position, but even more, we'll have even more carryover to your golf game because now we're really driving home, creating that proximal stability so we can have more distal mobility. If I want my arms, my legs, to move better, to move faster, to move with more control, I need to be able to, cr to create that tension to the core so I can not only have more control over the limbs moving, but I can also create more force and then transfer that force from the ground all the way up through my body, through the club, and eventually into the ball. So the straight leg dead bug is one that should not try or not do unless you've mastered the previous two, which was the dead bug iso hold and the dynamic stick dead bug. But as you get more control over that, you get more, more core stability, you're able to control your limbs a little bit better, keeping that back flat. We can move into the straight leg stick dead bug, which, final, which again, is just gonna be a little bit more challenging because now we're working to control longer levers. So I'm gonna be in the same position that I started in, just like my other two, except now I will have my stick, and instead of my legs being at 90 degrees back flat, I will take those legs straight up in the air. So people may not be able to get fully straight, fully locked out, that's okay, as straight as you can be. Even just holding that position could be a good core exercise for you. Everything else will be the same. So a hand relatively over the shoulder, doesn't need to be directly over, you can have it a little bit higher. Again, the further your arm comes over your head, the more challenging it's gonna be. So you can start a little bit closer to the shoulder. Again, drive that stick to the leg, right on the, kind of the top of the knee, top of the quad. Drive in, arm is up, and then I'm still going right hand, left leg, reach, drive into that stick, back stays flat, come straight back up, go again, back stays flat, and back in. Again, you could do for reps on that same side, and then switch. What you could also do is you could go back up, drive in, create that stability, go overhead, hang out here, breathe, Come back up. You could do multiple breaths at that position if you like. So just like the ISO hold, you could do the ISO hold from the straight leg position. You would just do your sets and reps on that first leg. Switch, arm comes overhead, legs are straight. Drive that stick into the leg, leg back into the stick. Come up and over as far as you can, keeping that back flat. Come back up to the start position. Again, there's a lot of variables you could play with there, right? You could do for reps, you could do for breaths, you could just do the holds at the top of each rep. There's a lot of variables you can play with depending on the level that you're at and your goals for that training session. But that is the third step in the dead bug series. We have the dead bug ISO hold, you have the dynamic stick dead bug, and then finally you have the dynamic or ISO straight leg stick dead bug. So give those a shot, kind of find out where you need to be, and then work on progressing through the three stages for a stronger core and more yardage on those drives. Give them a shot.